let's bring the conversation back home. The woman you picked to be your running mate decided to leave her job as Alaska's governor. And as you know, it set off quite a controversy and a debate. I was at a diner this week in Idaho, and the gentleman just to my left said, you know what, I hope she runs in three years because she reminds me a lot of Ronald Reagan. But across the table was another Republican who said I could never support her, even though I liked her in the campaign. She brought energy to the party. He voted for you, this gentleman, and he said I could never support her because she quit. She walked away. Yeah, but, you know, John, people make decisions what they think is best for their own future, their state, the country, and their family. And I'm not aware of all the influences, but I respect Sarah Palin. I appreciate her and her husband enormously. I think she will continue to play a major role in the future of the Republican Party. And uh, I have to respect the decision she made. And uh, I, I don't think... That surprise you. You're a guy who has had many chances to mm -hmm. quit in life. You could have quit when you were in Vietnam. You could have quit in the days of the Keating Five. You could have quit in this last campaign when you were the little asterisk uh, in some of the primary <laughs> polls and uh, people had forgotten you were even out there running. But that part had to shock you. But it's, everybody makes the decisions as to what's best for themselves and their families. And Sarah, I think, made clearly the best decision. I think she will continue to contribute. I think she'll continue to be a force. And... Uh, you know, I, I, I just also continue to, to kind of be saddened by the fact that there are still such vicious attacks on her and her family. I, I mean, it's, I, I've never seen anything quite like it. I respect her. I appreciate her. I think she has a role to, to play in the future. You're on the ballot next year. Will you have her down in Arizona? <laughs> oh, sure. Sure, I'd, 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 listen, I'd, one of the great pleasures in the campaign that I had was spending time with her and Todd and all their children. Let me, let me try one on you. If the primary were today and you pulled the curtain behind you and you looked up at three names and it said Mitt Romney, Sarah Palin, or Tim Pawlenty, John McCain would pull which lever? I, I couldn't state that now, John. As you know, um, Ronald Reagan didn't endorse George W. H. W. Bush until the 92 I think it was when he so uh, but I think uh, it, it's just much too early to tell I don't know if all three of those are going to run or not